Carly, I'll do just one more before the one after that. Carly, yeah, ignore me. That's just great. Mm. I'm Kevin. <laughs> Sophie. Sophie. It's a pretty name. You do all right with them. And buy you a drink. Thanks. But uh, I'm meeting someone. Someone. Boyfriend. Husband. <laughs> not seeing a ring, but lack of ornamentation doesn't necessarily mean shit these days. So, not really sure. Normally, I can tell when I'm wasting my breath on someone, but you're hard to read. Wow. <laughs> Does this work for you? You know what? You'd be surprised. Mm, that's an understatement. <laughs> Harsh, but accurate. So how about that drink? I told you. I, he told me. Yeah. He, maybe she. Mm. She's not here right now. Besides, it's a drink, not a marriage contract. Another one, Kevin? Oh, at least. And if the lady would oblige. Okay, fine. What do you have? Can I do a diet and coconut rum? <laughs> Took you for a vodka cranberry kind of girl. Aw, there go your instincts. Leading you down the wrong path again. You know, they say that the best rum in the world comes from Jamaica, but I can tell you from personal experience, nobody beats the Cubans. Mm. And here I was thinking that was only cigars. What? No, it's rum too. And I should know, I spent all last year there. For work. I'm a scientist. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I study the sky, I study the stars. Wow, okay. Didn't ask, but sounds fun. It's fun. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Carly. So, yeah. Uh, where were we? <laughs> Just leaving. No! What? Huh? No, okay. Yeah, don't mention it. So I guess this is goodbye. Looks that way. Well, I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. Ah, come on now, Officer Martin. We had some good times. <laughs> yeah, like that time he almost ripped your ear off. Simple misunderstanding is all it was. A little love by. <laughs> and then there's you, Mitchell. What about me? I can see why they're sending Tullus up to the five yard. <laughs> you always struck me as more of a mild type. What'd you do to earn this transfer? I requested it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you requested the five yard. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I never took you as a rocket scientist. But damn. You can't be that dense. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with five yards? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry, you'll find out soon enough. Don't listen to him, Ronnie. As long as I got your back, you got nothing to worry about. Yeah, that's rich. Doubt all you want. But having me as a friend's a better deal than most folks realize. And as for getting on my bad side? Uh, yeah, we know how that turns out. But this, this could be the end of the line for you now. You can spend the rest of your wasted existence in the deepest, darkest hole the DOC has to offer. Funny thing, that. What? Life. It's when you're sure things are going a certain way that fate starts pitching curveballs. Shit, boy, you look like you're about to have a seizure back there. What? No. Just nervous. All the quiet, Ronnie. Huh? Keep it together. Get up. 
<laughs> no, I don't want to. I know, but Allie's probably already waiting for us. Just five minutes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. I know what you're trying to do. You know that. Okay. I'm going to make us some breakfast, and you have five minutes. Is that a kiss? It was. That was sweet. Mm, I know. I love you. Mm, I know. I love you too. Five minutes! <laughs> oh, it smells good. Mm, yeah. There's some fresh coffee too. Yes, thank you. Oh, so did I overhear that right? Allie's got a uh, friend coming with her? Yeah, uh, a boy she goes to school with. Boy? What oh boy? Oh, wait, um, I can't remember his name. Crazy. Little Allie's got a boyfriend. She swears it's not like that. <laughs> right. What? You think that she wouldn't tell me? No, no, I just... I think that regardless of what she says, I bet the farm he thinks he's got a shot with her. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> More than possible. Yeah, because you were able to climb out of the friend zone with me. Wait. I didn't know I was in the friend zone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Big time. Are you sure we're even on the right road? I told my sister to have the car back an hour ago and... Yes, dude. Just keep going straight. This road isn't even straight. I'm telling you, man. It's gonna be the weekend. Well, what's happening? Allie. Finally getting in there. Oh, bullshit. She's practically been begging for it. Why else do you think she invited me on this camping trip with her? You're dreaming. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> sure will. Well, you don't believe me? Let's bet on it. You already owe me like 30 bucks. Uh. Well, double or nothing says I close the deal by Sunday. Keep your money. We'll pay back what you owe me, but keep the rest. Turn here. That's the place. This is Allie's house. Pretty nice, right? Oh, shit. Anyway, I would invite you up, but I think Allie wants to spend some alone time with me before <laughs> her sister picks us up. All right, bro. Wish me luck. Good luck. No bite. I'll be down in a minute. Hey. Hey. I was just, uh... Hungry? 
looking for something to drink. Oh, help yourself. Can I help you find something? Uh, my charger. Can't remember where I left it. Here it is. What? Nothing. Kevin. Hey. Safe, what? You're sleeping on my floor. Damn it, Kevin, get up. <sighs> no, okay. No, not okay. Come on. Fuck, Amy, really? Really. Get up. <sighs> and again, for those viewers just tuning in, a massive manhunt is underway for these two men, Jacob Tullis and Ronald Mitchell. Details are still unclear, but both men somehow managed to escape last night from the Sutherland Correctional Facility. We will keep you posted on this very important story as it develops. Be safer and smarter with Big Bucks Perfect Guarantee. Is there any coffee? It's half past three in the afternoon. All right, how about some of that wine then? I think you had more than enough last night. Yeah, but that was last night. As for today... <laughs> I didn't see your car out there. Took an Uber. You know me, safety first. We need to talk, Kevin. This isn't gonna be good. I can't use my place as a crash pad anymore. I know. I have no interest in telling you how to live your life. I just, seems like that or why we broke up. Got it. I'm serious. Just because I haven't changed the locks doesn't mean you can barge in in the middle of the night, pass out on my family room floor. I hear you. You say that, but I don't think you do. Oh no, I, I, I get it. You dumped me and now you need me to let you get on with your life. Fuck, this hangover is killing me. Where's your stemware? Oh, fuck it. What? You look like shit. Yeah, well, taking into account how drunk I got last night, I think the fact that I'm standing upright is accomplishment enough. But I don't know how I'm gonna get through my shift tonight. Look, go take a shower. I'll put a pot of coffee in for you, all right? Hey, Ethan. What's up, man? How much further? Uh, 20 minutes tops. I'm not sure I can wait that long. I really have to pee. That's what you get for downing all that soda. Can you pull over real quick? Yeah, sure. Where the hell is he going? He's probably just gun shy. You know how it is. Such a dork. A cute dork, though. You know, I, I'm surprised Mom let him come with us. It's not like that. Really, we're just friends. Oh yeah. Does he know that? Allie, you have to be straightforward when it comes to things like this, or he might get the wrong impression. Oh. <sighs> Jake, why do we stop? Because you're gushing like a sieve? Yeah. If we don't change them dressings, you'll be gone by morning. I don't like it, man. Being out in the open like this. Guess you'd rather bleed out then. Yeah. Keep your head down. 
I'll be right back. Afternoon. You got any first aid kits? Aisle three, next to the tools and auto. Thanks. Thirty-one fifty. Just enough. Hello, excuse you. Hey, Roy. Ed, fill up on three. You got it. What's that you got on the TV? About last night. Jailbreak. They still ain't got him. Apparently not. Huh. What's the reward? Didn't say. That'd be a hunt worth joining for sure. Hey, Roy, Ed. Hey, man. Matt. Just came down the wire. They're having me pass these out. 10K, that's all these boys is worth to them? Hardly worth taking a bullet over. I'm sure they're on a beach somewhere sipping margaritas as we speak. Can you do me a favor, hang that in your window? Yeah, sure thing. Hey, Matt. It's good to have you back in town. I'm sorry to hear about your little girl. Yeah, condolences, man. Armed and dangerous. Shit. For 20K, maybe. What the hell took you so damn long? You see that cop? Yeah, I saw him. Question is, did he see you? I don't think so. Let's get the hell out of here. I can argue with that. Yo, Jake. The highway's back that way. Fuck the highway. There'll be checkpoints every 50 miles from here to the border. What the? We cut through the park. Might be the slow road, but it spills out of stone's throw from old Mexico. I don't know, man. You gotta learn to trust me a little more, Ronnie. I got a sis far, didn't I? In case you didn't notice, I'm bleeding to death. Man, there's no pleasing some. Buck's brakes. Hi, may I speak with Buck? Big Buck or Little Buck? Little Buck. Gina! This is Buck. Hey, it's me. Gina? Look, I was hoping maybe you could fit me in sometime this afternoon. What time? About an hour. Okay, sounds like a plan. I'll see you then. Bye. Big Buck knows how to satisfy the ladies. Bring your cars down and get your brakes done, and we'll fix yours too. 
So if you're looking for quality parts, go to Bucks Brakes. Bucks Brakes. Putting holes in the competition since the 1970s. And don't forget our props. Fast service, satisfaction guarantee. What? Come on down to Bucks, where you're always satisfied. <laughs> it's a man of the house around. No, I killed him years ago. How you doing, Wayne? Fine, partner. Hey, what do we have here? Armed and extremely dangerous. 10,000. Not bad. As long as you don't mind eating lead for it. Hi, Gina. Hey, Wayne. Where are you going? Yoga class. Won't be home till late, so don't wait up. Never do. That's an extremely long yoga class. Yeah, the car just ain't been the same since they traded Colton. This team is a goddamn shit show now. I don't know, man. She said it still leaks. That's bullshit. I sealed those cameras myself. That's great. Right. I'll take your money. Yep. Hey, Gina. Hey, Nick. Little bucks in the back, but, uh, you know, maybe I could do something for you. Not a chance. Had to try. Hey there. So, gonna take me for a ride in this thing? What, this thing? This thing's barely got an engine. Well, what else you got? I'm sure we could figure something out. Just let me get cleaned up and we'll get out of here. Sounds like a plan. Lost your cardigan, Kevin? Yes, Julie. You're late. I know, Julie. Again. I know. It's the third time this week it's getting old. Hey, Julie. I can take it from here. You look like hell. Yeah, thanks for that. Well, why don't you finish charting Sector 2? Because it should have been done days ago. Yeah, I'm on top of it. I'm serious. Christ, I know, okay? Goodbye, Kevin. Ugh. Hey, Kevin. What's up, Hector? I'm just gonna start in the lobby and work my way up through here. Fascinating. So, I'll see you around then? Uh-huh. Oh, hey, Hector. Yeah. I'm nursing the hangover from hell, and the noise from that thing cuts right through me. Can we just, I don't know, take it easy on the floor buffing tonight? Yeah, sure thing. I'll be as quick as I can. Appreciate it. So what, man? Little Buck just gets to cut out again early? Yeah, I guess so. I don't get that shit. What's that? Fucking Gina, man. I mean, what the fuck she see in that guy? What's a little buck out that I don't got, huh? Grandpa does own the place. Big fucking deal. You know what the real question is? Is what's a little buck out that Roy ain't got? <laughs> a functioning wang. I mean, as small as that shit's got to be. At least it stands tall, huh? You seem to know an awful lot about a little buck's member. Is that the answer to the question how you got this job? <laughs> Fuck you, man. Oh, hey, Doc. You know, I plumb forgot I had an appointment today. All right, well, I'll be right over. Thanks for calling to remind me. See you in a short while. You boys seen little Buck around? Yes, sir. He actually just took off with Miss Gina. Gina Waxman? Roy's wife. What the hell for? I don't know, man. She said she needed a tune-up. 
You know, her car can't be in that great of shape, her being in here so often. Well, anyway, I'm about to go to Doc Stewart's and get prodded and probed and poked. Pat, I'm going to leave you in charge till I get back. Patrick, man, why'd you pick him? Because you talk too damn much, Nick. Now go back to work. You need a hand with anything? No, I got it. It'd be cool if I had one of those beers. Yeah, go for it. Not going to rat me out to the girl's parents, are you? Hell no. All right, we're good. So how long you and Rose been together? Man, since uh, junior high. That's a long time. Yeah, Allie might as well be like my little sister. <laughs> right on. <sighs> Just so we understand each other, you seem like a good guy. But I look out for Allie like she's my blood. I get it. I'm cool with that, man. Further. Oh, winded already? Girl's out of shape. No, girl just hates climbing wrong. Uh, oh, you made it. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I love this spot. Yeah, it's uh pretty. Oh, that's an understatement. Look, not to like kill the moment, but I'm getting kind of hungry. Can we head back to camp soon? Oh, just a sec. Take it in. Fascinating. Wow. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Does mom and dad know? Uh, we're gonna surprise them when we get back. Oh. Yeah, but I'm still nervous about telling them. Why? They love Ethan. I know, it's just, I don't want to hear it from mom about being too young or mm -hmm. dad and his finished college first speech. I'm so happy for you. And they love you too. Oh, thank you. Ethan's a great guy. He is, yeah, he's... He's one in a million. Yeah. What the fuck is that shit? I talk too much. You do. Look how you just rat it out, little bug. It's not about ratting anybody out, man. The guy should not be dipping his stick in another man's oil. All right, got anyone to throw in on this, babe? I just hate spending money on this dirt weed shit. There's not any other dispensaries around here, so it's this or nothing. Yeah. Here. Cool, I'll text him. Whoop. Bad news for you, my man. Duty calls. Hey! Here's hoping my favorite customers are having a pleasant afternoon. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. You guys are about to be doing really fine as well once you burn a little bit of that kind right there. Thanks. Good day, eh? Yay. I know, I know. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Is that like a, a meteor or something? I, I, I don't know. What is that? Hey, Kevin! Kevin! What, man? You gotta take a look at this, man. Come on. Wow. That's what I thought. We gotta get this recorded. <clears throat> Meteor impact approximately 1900 hours. Coordinates 43.7 by 73.9. And. The hell? What does that mean? Picking up a signal. Patching into it. That noise? Holy shit. What is it? Shh, please, Hector. Hey, what's up? Hey, Smiley, it's me. Who this? What do you mean, who's this, man? It's Nick. I'm at the spot, man. Where are you at? Uh, running late, homie. Uh, come on, man. I'm on my lunch break. I can't be out here all day. Chill out, man. I'll be there. How long? Soon. Just chill. Man, hurry up, all right? 
I'm supposed to be back at work already. Hey, you gon' chill if you want this real. I'll get there when I get there, alright? Hey, look, man, I'm chill, okay? I just don't want to lose my job over this shit. I'll get to you, man. Hang tight. What happened to the tunes, man? Out of batteries? I just charged them. Drunk. Car's dead. Damn it. Piece of shit. Duh. Come on, man. No, 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 not now. Come on. Fucking shit. Say hello to my little friend. Magpul foregrip, Saratac iron sights, FDE heat guard. Fascinating. God damn it, Buck. Are you trying to blow my eardrums out? Wanna try it? Pass. Come on. You don't know what you're missing. Come on. Turn this way. Left foot out front. Just let the stock rest right here in your shoulder. The name for that bullseye. Just line up the sights. Just like that. I hit it! Sure did. What? You have any idea how sexy you look holding that? So hot. <laughs> yeah. Hell yes. Are you ready for your close up? <laughs> He's such a dumbass. Did you forget to charge it? Guess so. Hmm. Who cares? <laughs> this is crazy. You must have blown the breaker. I'm gonna go check the fuse box. All right, hurry! Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Shit. One one two six one seven to dispatch. Do you copy? One one two. This is six one seven to dispatch. Do you copy? What's taking so long? It's not the breakers, and the backup generator is also offline too. Okay, what does that mean? I don't know, but the odds of them both going out? And then there's this. Grab your phone. They're not working. Anything electrical around here isn't working. Interesting. Right before we lost power, I recorded some kind of energy surge in there. It's possible the surge caused a massive short. What does that mean? It means that some kind of electronic emission has actually managed to cause a full blackout. Well, what are you gonna do? You do as you like. I'm heading to that impact site. Did you come? You gonna take me home? Well, so soon. You know how this works. What, being the guy on the side? 
Yeah, it's fucking great. Really? What? I don't know. Car won't start. I see your phone? Yeah. Mine's dead. And so is yours. No, it's fully charged. Oh, perfect. I'm just coming back for a flare. This is even better. Did you just come with me, man? No. Whatever causes could be dangerous. Could also be a find of some real scientific significance. And I'm not passing up the opportunity to be the guy that first discovered it. <laughs> so what do you say? What's the spirit? Really? So, my tablet's dead. Just like my phone. Yeah, mine too. God damn. Rose, Allie, I was just gonna go looking for you guys. Strangest thing happened. We saw something crash and like a beam or something, and suddenly our phones died. Ours too. Yeah, I was just trying to charge mine at the car, but I can't even get the car to start. This is getting scary. Wait a minute. You guys said you saw something crash? Like a meteor, followed by a beam. Crazy. What do you guys think it was? Hear that? Hey there. Hey. Our car died all of a sudden and I saw your fire. I was hoping you folks could lend us a jump. Yeah, I don't think a jump is gonna help you, man. Why is that? Well, for some reason, ours won't start either. Shit. I'd uh, offer you my phone, but it's dead too. It's kind of an emergency. See, my buddy and me were out hunting and he accidentally shot himself. If I don't get him some help soon, he's not gonna last through the night. Where is he? Back at the car. Boy's lost a lot of blood. Maybe you fellas could help me move him, spare some water. I don't know. Man. I'd be much obliged to you. Look, I'm sorry to trouble you, but if we don't at least keep him hydrated, he won't make it through the night. I guess I'll go. Look, we've got to help the guy. Be okay. What's the matter? That's incredible. I don't like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that a... Yeah. Oh, it looks like he's hurt from the crash. You should go get some help. And leave my discovery behind for anyone else to claim. Not happening. Hey, Kevin, you okay? <laughs> Good job, Kevin. There's an energy field protecting the alien in case it falls unconscious or something, like a defense mechanism. Hey, something's happening, man. You? This is me. Okay. Hey, Ronnie, man, I got you some more. Ronnie? Damn. She okay? Shit, brother. What's up? What's the matter? Is he okay? He's dead. You. 
Are you sure? Maybe he's just... Leave it alone. Okay. Hey, hey, uh, yo, I think it's a cop. Hey, man, are you, are you a cop? Okay, thank God. Uh, can you help us? What's wrong? There's a dead guy in the car, and we're, we're stuck out here. Hey, man. Is there a problem? No. No problem. He's... he's in the car. Easy now. Shit. Are you gonna end up just like him? What the hell, man? Now, we're gonna do this real nice and easy. Okay, just... just put down the gun. Next one's for you, law dog. My hands are in the air, I'm not moving. Okay, stud. You're up. What, what, what? Really slow now. I want you to reach and take Johnny's piece and hand it to me. Just do what he says, kid. There. I feel better already. Just so you don't get any ideas. I don't miss what I aim at. No ideas. <laughs> Move. Both of you. Try it now. Nothing. You know, we could have walked back to town by now. Oh, and leave my truck out here? Yeah. yeah. Hicks would be using it for target practice. I don't think so. Look, just crank it again. I've been fucking trying, Buck. Buck? Oh, my God. out there. God damn it, Smiley Man. If that's you, this shit ain't fucking funny. Hey. Tyler. Tyler. Mm. You're snoring, babe. I'm sorry, baby. Sorry, it's just one of those things I can't help. No, I know. Where are you going? Gotta pee. Where, where are you going? Oh my god. 
God, I was getting nervous. Evening, y'all. Let me introduce you to Johnny Law Dog. He's gonna be joining us. Ethan, what the hell's that? Just, just, just be cool. That's right, cool as cucumbers, and we won't have any more problems. Make sure you tie him off nice and tight now. All finished? <sighs> yeah. That leaves only you. No. Oh, man. What the hell, man? What? You act like I shot him. Hey, listen to me. This doesn't have to go this way. Don't I know it, Law Dog? Don't I know it? <laughs> Come on, man. You're taking our food. First rule of survival. Well, folks, it's been a real pleasure, but I must be on my way. Come on, boy! I just took a bad step. Okay, well, let's move. Yeah. Ah. Worst thing you thought? Yeah, I twisted it. It hurts like hell when I try to move it. You guys go ahead. I'll do my best to keep up. No way. Yeah, we're not splitting up. Oh. Damn it, Allie! You saw what that thing did to Ethan. That's why we're not leaving you. Well, go! Hey, kid. Now. What's your name? Dylan? Dylan, come give me a hand. Okay, is this any better? Oh, it hurts. Okay, we gotta move slow, but we're gonna keep moving, okay? okay. What we got here. This is it. This is what? Hey, give me your hand. Thanks, give me a second. Uh, Sit down. Uh, Search and rescue's been abandoned for a while now. There might be a first aid kit around here somewhere. Any water? I'm not sure. You have to look around. Let me see how bad it is. How can you see what you're doing? Ha! And let there be light. Are you crazy, Dylan? Put that out. Why? You don't think that's going to track whatever that thing is out there? How are you supposed to fix your sister's leg in the dark? Got a point. Okay. I'm gonna have to set this. Yeah, okay. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Just do it already. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, the worst of it's behind you. What now? Um, splint. Hopefully some bandages. No, I mean, what are we gonna do? What's the plan? 
Gotta head back into town. Try and find some help. I can't believe he's dead. <laughs> Find anything good? Should make for a halfway decent split. So have you ever seen anything like whatever the hell that was back there? No. It's definitely no animal I've ever seen. Yeah. Almost looks like... Something out of this world. Come on, that's crazy. I'm not sure what the hell that thing was. If there's one thing I do know, it's a hunter. And we're the prey. Yeah, something like that. Then why are we holed up here like some sitting ducks? Hey, that girl's really hurt. When she's up for it, we'll, we'll move. Look, man, I feel like I gotta be straight with you, all right? Whatever the odds are of outrunning that thing and making it back to town, they get substantially better if we're not slowed down by Rose and her busted leg. Some friend you are. I don't even know her, man. Wow. I mean, I've been trying to tap the younger sister, but she's been blue-balling me all semester, so no great loss there either, am I right? Listen, pal. If you think I'm going to keep you from leaving, I'm not. If you want to go, go. I don't know the way. Head south and hope for the best. Good luck to you. <sighs> Jesus, man. Tight enough? You're cutting off my circulation. Sorry, partner. You already broke out of one clinker, and I ain't about to take no chances. Fuck, man. You got to hear me. We ain't safe here. Don't worry, son. I'm really going to take good care of you. Just gotta get that truck started first. Oh, damn it. That's not gonna do any good, man. You're not gonna get this thing to start. <laughs> you little fake. You don't understand, man. Nothing's working. No phones, no flashlights. Anything with electronics been fried by the monster. The monster? Whatever you want to call it, this thing that attacked us. Trust me, man. You don't want to cross paths with it. Well, don't fret, son. Oh, Roy's not gonna let nothing happen to you before he can collect that reward. But it would appear you're in the right about the truck. So... We walk out. On your feet, now. Are we ever going to get out of here? How you feeling? Better. You want to give it a shot? Yeah. Finally. How much further? Just over the bluff is the freeway, then it's all pavement, okay? God. Are you okay to keep going? Yeah, just, just give me a minute. Here, sit down. Shit. What was that doing? I didn't say anything. Unbelievable. What the hell is your problem? Look, she's just slowing us down, okay? Give her a break. She's hurt. I can't believe you're being like this. Yeah? We'll believe it. Because there's no way in hell I want to die out here in the middle of nowhere. How can you be so selfish? I'm selfish because I want to live. No, selfish because He's you're- He's right. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Stop talking like that. Just rest here for a second and we'll help you the rest of the way. Right? Yeah, whatever. Oh, shit. Run, run, run! Run, this. run, run, run! Almost back to town. Hey, keep moving. Whoa. You see that? What? Somebody's coming. <laughs> God damn, you're jumpy. See? There. Could be him. Him? The monster, man. The monster? Keep moving. No, fuck that. You want to shoot me, go ahead, but I'm not taking another step. Hey, don't tip me, tough guy. Hey! Who's out there? Quiet, man. Shut 
it. Oh, damn. Oh. It's a skinny kid. Oh, hey. Hey. You. Hey, kid. Mister, watch this guy. He tried to rob us. Don't you worry, boy. I got him well under control. Where are you taking him? Back to town. Turn him into the sheriff. Can I tag along? And suit yourself, but I ain't splitting the reward. Whatever. I just need to find my way back to town. Move. Well, come on, then. Wait, wait, wait. What? We're going the wrong way. This is it's further into the desert. No. Oh, shit. With, with all the confusion, I lost my bearing. Well, which way's the right way? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Shit! I'm really sorry. definitely past midnight. Yeah? It means it's the 11th. It's my daughter's birthday. Oh. How old is she? She would have been six. Would have? She passed away. Four months ago. Oh. I'm sorry. I figured if I came back to work early, kept myself busy, that would have been the right decision. But after today, I'm having second thoughts about that. Okay, let's, let's try this again, okay? Well, if we head that way, we're liable to run into that thing again. Yeah, you're right. We're gonna go this way. And that thing, I noticed the last few shots that I put into it, it, it seemed to slow it down. Hopefully a couple more will stop it for good. You think so? I'm gonna hope so. Come on. Hey man. What's your name? Don't worry about it. Anyway. You saw that thing. Can you please explain to Grizzly Adams here what we're up against? You should stop talking. I'm trying to tell him Blunderbuss won't save us if we come across it again. Hey, one more word. I swear to God, I'll kill you. Yeah, well, that thing has already killed two of us already, so I think it's safe to say if it finds us, we're all fucked. What? Have you seen this monster man too? Yeah. Well, I don't care what's out here. Ain't nothing keep me from my reward money. Speaking of the devil. What the hell is that? Come on, man, untie me. Why? So you can ditch us like last time? Look, the only way we're gonna survive this thing is if all hands are on deck. Jesus, kid, at least give me a fighting chance against that thing. Think you can live through this without my help? Now fucking untie me! Okay. This way, old boy's done for. Where do you think it came from? Well, I've heard stories over the years about sightings or whatever you want to call them. Sightings? Never really thought about it until tonight. Wait, you mean like... Like aliens? That's crazy. Do you smell that? Yeah. You asked me how it got here. It has to travel somehow, right? Yeah, like a flying saucer? A spacecraft of some kind. Yeah, I wonder. What? Well, this afternoon we were at the lookout peak, and we saw something fall out of the sky. Not sure what it was, though, but it landed pretty close to us. Well, I have a feeling we're about to find out. Where are we going? To get my gun. What good is that going to do? Better to have it than not. Besides, the bullets back there hurt it more than before. Yeah, it did look that way. See? We agree on stuff. This partnership might just work.
You should gather any supplies you can fit in that bag. You pretty much took everything else. Okay then, let's go. Hey. We gotta get going. I can't do this. What happened? My sister's dead, and Ethan is... Listen to me, okay? I know it seems hard right now, but we gotta keep moving. Do we have any other plan besides wandering around in the dark? We're gonna stick to my plan, and that's to move into town. I hardly got to see her since she moved away to college. This trip was supposed to be a fun weekend together. And she just got engaged, and... I get it. Sometimes losing the ones we love the most is what life hits us the hardest with. And then think. What? I know you came here to meet that boy. If I see him again, I'm kicking him in his nuts. <sighs> Come on. So what happened? How'd you get separated from your friends? I left him. Why? Well, her sister broke her leg and started slowing us down. I told him leave her ass behind. Survival of the fittest, common sense. They don't want to leave her, so I took off. Damn. And I thought I was cold. Whatever. So what happened to your friend that was shot? He's dead. Oh shit. How'd that happen? Running from the law. Trying to get to freedom. What's that? No idea. Looks like campers. You know what that means. More supplies. Come on. Are you crazy? I'm not getting any closer to that thing. We gotta keep moving. Oh boy. Oh shit. There's another one. Uh, this is definitely not good. You? I think I just stepped in poo. I don't think that's poo, at least not from any animal I've ever seen. I just stepped in alien shit. <laughs> I'll find something to help you clean it, okay? Did you find something? Yeah, I found something. What's that? I have no idea. You know what I think? Whatever that thing is, was already hurt in this crash. What are you getting at here? Hopefully, it is already hurt. If we're lucky, it's dying. Come on. Hear that? You're not alone. What the? Stop both of you. Me. Listen out of the good ear now. You're lucky he's here or I'd be kicking your ass right now. What's with everyone trying to kick my ass tonight? Shit. What brings you guys here? To ask you the same thing. Following the smoke? What the hell is that thing? You should put your gun down and go find oh, out. Oh, I'll find out with my gun. And I'll be taking yours too. Go on, take his gun. Sorry to do this to you again, but I can't have you shoot me while my back is turned. Alright, let's go have a look-see. Move. I can't believe you left us. Your sister would have gotten us all killed. You're an unbelievable asshole. Yeah, but I'm alive. Holy, this... This can't be what it looks like. I'm pretty sure that's how it got here. He really is a freaking spaceman. Why don't you go take a closer look? It found us. What the hell is it waiting for? I'd say it's trying to size us up, decide which one's the weakest link. I'm defenseless here, man. Help me out. All I'm trying to do is make my way to Mexico, and both you and this thing stand in the way of that, so no, officer, I will not give you your gun back. What are you waiting for, dude? Shoot! Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
What's wrong? I'm tired of running. I've got to get moving or that thing's going to catch up with us. Exactly. My point. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter how much you run. That thing's just going to catch up to us. If we just stay here, that doesn't change anything. Where are you going? I don't know. We have no weapons. we got to keep running. I hear something. Move. Come here. Move. Move. He's come back. <laughs> Put that thing down before you hurt yourself. You've been nothing but trouble since we've met you. Just looking out for the one that matters most. Me. Look where it's got you. Okay. Give me the gun, give me the gun, give me the gun. Uh, just a few more shots and I think we can kill that thing. What are you saying? We can try to set up a trap for it, like an ambush. That's crazy! The girl has a point. Shut, Shut up! up. I got enough out of you. I've been outgunned or outnumbered or outmatched my whole life. The only reason I'm still here is because I know a thing or two about this cat and mouse game. Okay, you know what? That's enough convict wisdom for the night. Okay, we're leaving. Let's go. Come on, man. Think about it. Girl's right. We've already managed to hurt it bad. All we got to do now is finish it off. Look here. It's always attacked us one at a time. Say we strategize a little bit. We just might get the upper hand for once. We tried running, Matt. That thing killed Rose. If we're gonna die tonight, I'd rather die trying to fight back. Listen to yourselves. It's crazy talk. I'm leaving. Law Dog's afraid to stand and fight. Coward. I told you to sit there and keep your mouth shut! Prove me wrong, man. So what if we run, Matt? If we're lucky enough to make it to town, that thing's just gonna follow us. Right now, there's only three of us in danger. But as soon as you hit civilization, those numbers go up. Fine. Fine. We'll try it your way. So what's the plan, Law Dog? First things first, you're gonna stop calling me that. Whatever the creature did, it must have worn off. Didn't wear off. It's dying and losing its power. Shit. It just might make it through this after all. 617 is dispatched. Do you copy? Dispatch 617. Do you copy? Shit. The power must have went off. Or they're all dead. Give me your phone. There's no signal. You get back into town. Anything to avoid a fight. Why can't you see this for what it is? Things on its knees. Now it's time to finish it uh, off. I'm taking you both into town. We're waiting for backup, and that's it. Then remove the cuffs and give me my gun so I can finish it. I know when to scrap and when to scurry. And now's not the time to scurry. You know what? If you want to deal with this thing so bad, you be my guest. Best of luck. I can't. Run along now, friend. Sorry, man. You should listen to me, okay? This is a big mistake. Okay, you're gonna get hurt. Maybe. Looks like he was expecting us. So much the element of surprise. Hey, cowboy. You don't look so good. All right, he's getting ready to strike. When he does, I'll go left, you go right. Understand? Yeah. What do you 
waiting for? Can't get a clear stop! I can't hold him much longer, damn it! Take a shot! I got shot. Yeah. I thought you were dead. Takes more than a gunshot wound to get rid of me. Come on, we gotta take care of this. Yeah. Is it dead? Yeah, it looks that way. Jake saved my life. Yeah, I guess he did, didn't he? You two cut that hero shit out. Hey, are you sure we're heading the right way? Trust me. I found my bearings. Don't worry, if he gets lost, I can always find my way to Mexico. Still trying to escape? I ain't going back to jail. Did you hear that? Man, you must have dog ears. Now that must be the first responders. Come on. Holy shit. See? That's why no one responded. They're all fighting for their lives. Looks like the fight's just getting started.
Hey, Tommy. Did you remember to take the car into Buck's break? They're kind of old. <sighs> Darn it, Sally. The brakes are fine. These brakes are good. Can you stop being such a nervous Nelly? Look out! this happen to you. All this could have been prevented by a trip to Bucks Brakes. Be safer and smarter with Big Bucks Personal Guarantee. At Bucks Brakes, we've got you covered. Your personal satisfaction is our one and only priority. It's always a blast at Bucks Brakes. I'm an actual person. I'm not a paid actor. And I would highly recommend Bucks Brakes to all of my friends and or family. I went, I went to Big Bucks, and it was wonderful. I mean, it was, he was, I, I like, good job on breaks, thanks. Thanks, Big Bucks, for servicing my needs. Big Bucks has what you need, and I thank him. How's that? And it's not just breaks. We all service on nearly all makes and models. I really like Big Bucks. I'll tell you what. Your personal satisfaction is Big Bucks' priority. I've had my experience at Big Bucks, and I gotta say, I like Big Bucks, and I cannot lie. Now, Big Buck knows how to satisfy the ladies. Bring your cars down and get your brakes done, and we'll fix yours, too. So if you're looking for quality parts, go to Bucks Brakes. Great guy, quality parts, phenomenal man. Bucks Brakes. Putting holes in the competition since the 1970s. And don't forget our props. Fast service, satisfaction guarantee. Come on down to Bucks, where you're always satisfied. So come on down today and tell them Big Bucks is.